This is the Epson Showlab SLD 3000. It is a digital dry lab designed for high quality photo print production. Within the Showlab range, it is the printer offering the highest quality and also the highest productivity combined with print flexibility. In this video, we will be focusing on best practice, on media handling, on the humidity control unit and also on the often underestimated aspect of cleaning. The Epson Showlab SLD 3000 offers users the flexibility to print on a variety of media such as glossy luster and paper-based art mud. When you change your media, you have to make sure that this light is no longer blinking because otherwise that printer is still in action. Then you press this button here and you open up the media compartment on the bottom. Then you take your paper belt, place it around here, you take out the spindle and then you place it in your optional paper case. Then it's protected from dust and humidity. The 100 meter rolls, they're quite heavy. This here weighs almost 10 kilograms. And here's how to change such a media despite its weight. You take out this part because you'll be needing it. You grab it by your plastic bag. Then you put on your gloves. You clean the side of the media to remove the paper dust. I have an additional spindle here. This makes sense if you do frequent media changes or if you do multiple sizes, it will increase your productivity. And then you pull this on, and then you flip it over, clean the side of the roll, put this on, you align these arrows, and then you need to make sure the way the paper is rolled up, because the spindle has two sides goes up like this. Um, you center the spindle. There is a color coding on the side. This is the same color coding you will find in the machine. Then you flip this over and basically your media is loaded. Now we have to align the width. You use the same color coding. In this case it's purple that you have had on your spindle. Now you can feed in your media. When you look from here you will just see the edge of the media. Then you can select your channel, in this case it's a glossy media. You close your compartment and you're done. The paper used in the Sholab has a paper core, so it is very important to control the humidity. The humidity control unit built into this machine will support you on this. It will control the humidity in the media compartment. We have checked the humidity here, it is very dry. So we will change the setting on this machine. There is a screw here. You open the screw, you do not completely unscrew it. You can flip this around and then you tighten the screw again. We have now changed the setting in the media compartment to humidify and I now have to turn on the humidity control unit on the back of the printer. For standard conditions between 40 and 60 relative humidity, the humidity control unit should be turned off. An often underestimated aspect is cleaning. Dust from the surrounding environment, from the media, can seriously impact your printing operation. It is actually the main cause for clogged nozzles. The printing system will support you. It will send regular reminders. So it will tell you during startup to clean your machine, to clean the top part. It will also ask you to look inside of the printer if there is any dust accumulated. And every three to six months, you'll be asked to clean the media compartments and the vents with a vacuum cleaner. These are just a few helpful tips on the Surelab D3000. And if you need further information, you can always check the extensive Epson operation manual.